Welcome to this edition of SAU Magazine, a weekly program featuring news, profiles, sports, commentary, interviews, and special events, all coming to you from the campus of Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Amanda Smith. A winter ice storm curtails campus activities. Some courses were canceled or delayed on Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday classes began at 11 a.m. with evening classes canceled. A power outage early Wednesday caused another delay in classes. Despite the weather, the play Blessed Assurance went on as scheduled. The SAU campus was last hit by an ice storm at the end of the fall 2000 semester. I'm Shelley Glover. An SAU student dies from injuries sustained in a motor vehicle accident. Jill Rushton, a senior majoring in computer information systems, died Sunday. Her funeral was held at First Baptist Church in Magnolia. Rushton is the second SAU student to die this academic year from an auto accident. During the fall semester, 21-year-old Jamilyn Good died in a crash near BB. She was a passenger in a truck that ran off the road in White County. The driver of the truck was also killed. Southern Arkansas University Office of Admissions is sponsoring a University Preview Day on Wednesday, March the 12th. High school juniors and seniors will be invited to visit SAU and learn more about academic programs and student organizations. This is an opportunity for organizations to get early exposure to potential members. The organization fair will be in the Bruce Center and Mall area from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. SAU is presenting a two-day virtual instructor workshop. Those who attend will learn how to perform internet-related tasks. Among the topics will be how to convert a traditional course to a web-based modality, networking with other educators utilizing web-based instruction, applying principles of learning and instructional design, and becoming acquainted with the operations of interactive video conferences. This workshop is funded by a Teacher Quality Enhancement Grant. Faculty members and senior education members are invited to attend. Slots are limited. SAU organizations are participating in the fight against cancer. They are joining the American Cancer Society Relay for Life, Contact Connie Wilson if an organization or department is interested in having a team. The walk is Friday, April the 11th at 6 p.m. at the Magnolia Senior High School Panther Stadium. So far, there are seven teams participating, Alpha Sigma Alpha, Kappa Alpha Psi, Football Staff, Presidents Ambassadors, Sigma Tau Gamma, Spanish Club, and Upward Bound. SAU celebrates Black History Month. Extravaganza was presented this week by the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. There was food, music, and an African fashion show. There were guest speakers, cultural displays, and other activities. The event was held on the main floor of the Bruce Center. Those who attended were encouraged to wear Afrocentric attire. Extravaganza was one of the many programs that SAU is presenting to celebrate the contributions of African Americans to society. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. For Amanda Smith, I'm Shelley Glover. With an SAU profile, I'm George Babineau. And I'm Liz Matern. Sigma Tau Gamma Fraternity is an international brotherhood of men based on the principles of value, learning, leadership, excellence, benefit, and integrity. It's more than 50,000 members share a common commitment to leadership, scholarship, and service. Founded in 1920 at Central Missouri State Teachers College in Warrensburg, Missouri, Sigma Tau Gamma has grown to more than 100 college campuses across the United States. The Delta Iota chapter was established on the SAU campus on March 20, 1984. They also support books for kids. Some of the fraternity's philanthropies include Bacchus, which is an international student-based movement for the prevention of alcohol abuse by college students. Here in Columbia County community, the Sigma Tau Gamma has adopted a mile on Highway 82 in which they help to keep the highway clean. With an SAU profile, I'm Liz Matern. And I'm Jordan Babineau. SAU Sports, I'm Corey Wages. And I'm George Strecker. The men's baseball team traveled to Thibodeau, Louisiana to play Nichols State University this weekend. SAU lost the first game of the doubleheader 11-4. Geraldo Valentin led the Riders, scoring two runs and making three hits. SAU lost the second game of the doubleheader 4 to nothing. Pitcher Brian Barr kept Nichols State off the board for most of the second game. 
SAU's record is 6-5 and five for the season. SAU women's softball team had another rainout. This makes 14 games that have been canceled by rain. Out of the five games they have played, Danielle McRae is leading the team with a 385 average, five hits, and four RBIs. Their record is 2-3 and three with no conference games played so far. Their next games are scheduled for this weekend against St. Gregory's University in Magnolia. The men's basketball team has struggled this year with a record of 5-20. and 20. Their Gulf South Conference record is 1-13. and 13. SAU played the University of Arkansas in Monticello this weekend in Monticello. The Bull Weevils beat SAU by a score of 76-54. to 54. The top scorers for SAU were Anthony Ball with 14 points and Michael Monroe and Brian Bigley with 10 points. SAU's men's head basketball coach is Brian Daugherty. Southern Arkansas University women's basketball team played University of Arkansas Monticello on February 20th. The Bow Weevils outscored the Riderettes by a score of 67-56. to SAU's top scorers were Stacy Stockton with 15 points and Shayla Kennedy with 14 points. Kennedy also led the team with 8 rebounds. Stockton, a senior from Prescott, has been chosen to the third team Verizon All District 6 women's basketball team. SAU Sports, I'm George Stricker. And I'm Corey Wages. With commentary, I'm Tammy Iverson. And I'm Nick Davis. SAU Youth Apprenticeship is an excellent four-year program for high school students interested in a medical career. Apprentices generally go on to pursue education and careers in a medical field. While in high school, apprentices take advantage of technical training and college credit courses. This training is offered on weekdays during the summer months and primarily on Saturdays during the school year. This training is also offered via distance education. The eligibility requirements are Students must be interested in a medical career, be enrolled in high school, have a cumulative grade point average of at least three, submit a complete application with high school transcript, essay, and letters of recommendation from two high school teachers. Students enjoy the program because they can interact with medical professionals for real world experiences. With commentary, I'm Nick Davis. And I'm Tammy Iverson. With an SAU police log, I'm Joanna Eaton. And I'm Kyle Holloman. On February 19th, arrest on warrant. Justin Willis, an SAU student, was arrested on a warrant for theft by receiving, involving a stolen textbook case. On February 20th, breaking and entering, a student reported his vehicle was broken into and several items taken while parked in the Tally Hall East parking area. The case is under investigation. On February 21st, theft of property. A student reported the theft of a textbook from the Bruce Center cafeteria. A suspect was identified and arrest is pending. On February 22nd, breaking and entering. A student reported his vehicle was broken into and several items taken while parked in the northern section of the Grandpa Long parking area. The case is under investigation. On February 24th, tow report. A student's vehicle was towed from the Brinson Fine Arts parking area after repeatedly parking in a reserved parking space. No other incidents were reported this week. To appeal a university parking citation, the following process should be followed. Upon receiving the appeal form, the Office of Student Life will provide the date the appellant should appear at the appeals court. Ordinarily, a person will be required to appeal in the appeals court hearing to provide testimony. A person who fails to appear without giving notice will be required to pay the citations and will also lose any further right to appeal. Persons wishing to appeal a decision of the appropriate appeals committee may do so only to the Magnolia Municipal Court. To report campus crime or if suspicious activities appear to be taking place, contact the University Police Department at 235-4100. That's 235-4100. With an SAU police log, I'm Kyle Holloman. And I'm Joanna Eaton. I'm David Parkerson. And I'm Ross Sims. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center, Upward Bound is looking for an experienced driver to take high school students to Southern Arkansas University and transport them to their homes. Applicants must be at least 21 years of age, have a valid driver's license, and a clean record to apply. The Upward Bound Department is located in Wilson Hall, room 119. Educational Psychological Evaluative Services is looking for a data entry office worker to work part-time, 20 hours a week, preferably able to work morning hours, must be able to work during holiday breaks, 
Applicants must have knowledge of general office tasks and have experience with WordPerfect. Apply in person at 540 East Union in Magnolia, Arkansas. I'm Ross Sims. And I'm David Parkerson. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. With this week's entertainment news, I'm Leah Stillman. The Miss SAU pageant is scheduled to take place Thursday, March 6th in Harton Theater. The pageant is a preliminary to Miss SAU. The contestants will compete in talent, swimsuit, formal or business attire, and an interview. The winner and first runners-up will receive full pay tuition for next semester, and the second runner-up will receive a $500 scholarship. The contestants have not yet been announced for the pageant. The theater department performed Blessed Assurance three nights this week. The play by Laddie Sarton is set in Sunflower County, Missouri in July 1964. Tensions were high because of the Civil Rights Movement. Olivia, played by Patrice Phillips, is a religious, strong-minded black woman determined to change the way things are. Other characters include Lewis, played by Will Bates, an older black man in love with Olivia. Also, Harlan, played by Shannon Watson, the white cafe owner torn between his longtime friendship with Olivia and the white community's hatred. SAU recently gathered to discuss the possibilities of war. The Blue and Gold Room in the Bruce Center was the setting for a lively debate. Dr. Stacy Clanton performed the duties of moderator, and Dr. James Willis gave background information on the United States and Iraq's history. The forum allowed the community and students to hear opinions and fears of others. All are invited to attend Mulestock 2003, an SAU music festival. It takes place Saturday, March 8th from 2.30 to 9 p.m. It's free for everyone. Just bring a blanket and lawn chair. The performance schedule includes Lewis Ramey, comedian, Fat Albert, Stephen Jackson, Secret Place, Dixie Cadillacs, and SAU student talent. And that's this week's entertainment news. The SAU Broadcast Journalism degree program features a wide variety of professional experiences. Students are responsible for producing and marketing radio and television programs each semester. SAU Magazine, a radio news program, is available to stations in Arkansas and bordering states. The SAU Report, a television interview program, is available to cable systems in southwest Arkansas and northeast Texas. More than a dozen courses are offered in the SAU Broadcast Journalism degree program. Writing, reporting, and hands-on experience experiences are stressed in these courses. In addition, graduating students are more perceptive analysts of mass communication and broadcast journalism. They are very competitive in the job field and for opportunities as graduate students. Information about the Broadcast Journalism Degree Program can be found on the internet at saumag.edu. That's saumag.edu for an excellent educational opportunity. With this week's SAU calendar, I'm Charles Bostic. And I'm Mary Ligon. Monday, March 1st, resident assistant applications are available. The Student Government Association will hold traffic appeals court at 4 p.m. The Mule Rider basketball team plays at Christian Brothers University in Memphis at 8 p.m. The Riderettes play Christian Brothers at 6. On Tuesday, MBSF will meet at 7.30 p.m. Wednesday, the Panhellenic Council will hold meetings at both noon and 5 p.m. IFC will hold a meeting at 6 p.m. and Student Government Association will meet at 6.30 p.m. MBSF will host a Bible study at Central Baptist Church at 7 p.m. The Biology Club is scheduled to meet during the same hour. Thursday, MBSF Prayer and Praise will take place. Friday, the Southwest Arkansas Regional Science Fair will be held from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And that's this week's SAU calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.